I thought the first in the first half, I thought both teams came out swinging. A lot of energy, a lot of aggressiveness uh, on, on both sides. Um, I thought that we moved the ball and, and, and executed very well. Everybody was involved in the first half. It's been a long time since I had everybody who played the first half scored on our team, which was was this same thing. We had a team of guys locked in. Uh, but I was doing the first half. I said, man, he has these guys playing hard. I, I don't think we played any harder than them, I, I, but I thought we had some guys that made some plays. We shared the ball a little better. We moved it a little better. We had 16 assists, I believe, did we? Yeah, he had 16 assists. That's, that's, that's a little bit better than what we've been doing uh, as of late. Uh, they made us work for every possession. Now, offensively, it, <laughs> You know, I, I can't take too many bows because when I look at the stat sheet, we won and they still shot 47 field goal percents from the threes and the two. Thank God they missed a couple of free throws. Uh, but that just shows that the ACC is a conference where 70% of the team, uh, of the games was decided by four points or less. And this was a typical ACC contest where uh, it was just one of those competitive games that could have gone either way because they shot the ball so well from the firm. And, and to be honest with you, I thought we defended them fairly well. And they just made they made tough shots. That's why you kind of we got to get a little better on the offensive boards. We got we got to figure out why are we still allowing people to shoot a high percentage against us on the defensive end because. As we wind down the season, you have very little room for, for error. Everybody's playing for a spot in the ACC tournament, and um, people are ready for you. In any game that's played in the ACC, <laughs> uh, they're going to consider it. I think Notre Dame beat Wake Forest today, and uh, Wake Forest beat a very good team the other day. So this this is a very competitive league, and we got to try to find a way to – up our position as we move toward the ACC tournament. Primo, I thought, gave us a big lift. Uh, Chandler came in the first half and gave us a big lift. I like the effort of uh, Taylor Bowen. Watkins con con continues to be consistent. Um, Cohen seemed to be more focused. I thought Deontay Green came in the first half and was very, very effective. Um, we we kind of gave him the green light that we wanted him to pick and pop and Hopefully he can make some jump shots or, or drive and draw some fouls, but he made a couple of perimeter shots, and I think that's one of the reasons why maybe uh, Burns didn't play as much because you know when he when he was guarding a couple of our players, we did pick and pop, and uh, they hit a couple of shots, and I thought it uh, created some 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 anxiety on their their team because they're not accustomed to their centers that they're guarding hitting jump shots. You guys got any questions? How pleased were you with how the team got into transition and fast break points just was aggressive? Well, you know, they've been known for their full court press. And over the years, with the exception of a couple of games this year, we have uh, we've done real well with our with our press offensive scheme. And we did spend a lot more time this week um, uh, against those uh, the different press offensive system that we have. And I thought the guys executed them. Uh, we, got, we hit our deep feeders, and we got out in transition, we pushed it down the court. Uh, but that's who they are, they love the press. And I think our, our press offensive schemes have been able to handle most presses because we spent a lot of time working on it. So I thought it was, that made a big difference in the game. We didn't have to set up the half court as much because we were able to get out and run. And I thought our guys made pretty good decisions once they got we got in, in transition. You spoke a bit about taking Burns out of this game last year. He had a very effective game against your team. Just what did you guys do to him tonight? Well, kind of well, bother him. You just got to give him his, his respect because he's he's a challenging player to defend. I mean, he's six nine. They say two fifty, but two seventy. But uh, I don't know what scales they're using. So, <laughs> but he is a, a loaf. And, and he's unbelievably skilled. And when you let him catch the ball in certain areas, it's, 
you're really almost helpless. Um, you can't double team the traffic because he's such a great passer. So we gave him all the respect that we possibly give a guy. And uh, I think it, it was obviously a little more effective tonight than it was last year, that's for sure. You talked about Jameer. I think this was his 14th straight game in, in double figures. You're going to have different guys step up every night, but how much of a stabilizing force for the offense has he been known with Jeremy? Well, it's, it's this to have, with where we are as a team, to have one guy we can count on every night. You know, I mean, he's he's been he's been the best version of himself. He, he knows he can take the ball to the basket. He, people are dropping off of him. They actually played him. They tried to take his right hand away from him the night for whatever reason, and, and the coaches were screaming, drive him left, drive him left, but they don't realize that he's pretty good at going left as well. But uh, people are giving him a lot of attention. And what makes uh, um, the consistency of him so so impressive is that in their game plan, in their scout report, he's a target by the, uh, the opponent. And their their whole week of practice is is concentrating on him, and he still goes out and, and presents himself that gives us a chance to win. That this says a lot about him and his ability to read the floor and make good decisions. Um, but uh, there's a, there were a lot of guys I thought stepped up tonight. And to, to answer your question about what we did, Burns, we didn't really do anything that we normally don't try to do, regardless of who we play. We don't change that much from how we defend things. Um, we've always been pretty effective defending the interior because of uh, the, the schemes that we use. But now people seem to be having their way from three from the three point line, and we got to fix that if we go go deep into the ACC tournament and put ourselves in a position to have some opportunities at the end of the year. You mentioned the passing, you guys. Got some really good looks at the end of possessions, you know, layups and dunks. I mean, just getting guys wide open. What do you think the key to that was? Patience, patience, and understanding that you got to move hard, cut hard. Um, early in the year, we have guys setting screens and they're rolling outside the lane as opposed to running to the halo and into the front of the rim. And even if they don't get the ball, it puts pressures on the guys who's defending them on the baseline. And I thought our execution was a little better. And uh, people are accepting their roles a little better. And uh, realizing that we need to come together and execute the game plan. I thought that was just kind of the sense I got for the whole team this week. They were really, really locked in, you know, uh, wanting to win this game. What else said?